There are so many different Cardano stake pools and some of them even offer you extra rewards of their own coin. So wouldn't it be cool if you could stake to different stake pools? Well, I'll show you how in this video. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how you can delegate your Cardano to different Cardano stake pools using the Yoro wallet. One more thing before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter, which is the first link in the description down below, because I'll soon be coming up with a membership site that covers a lot more reviews, deep dive analysis, trading signals, Q and A's and more. So you can be the first to be notified when the membership is live. All right, let's dive in. All right, now we're in the URL wallet. If you haven't set it up already, be sure to check out my tutorial on that linked on top of my head. When you've watched that and set it up, come back to this video. All right, now in order to delegate your Cardano to different stake pools, you need to create different wallets. So you can't just do it from one wallet. So for instance, if you go to the delegation list, you can only delegate all of your Cardano holding that you're holding in that wallet. You can only delegate that to one pool. So if you want to delegate to several pools, you need to create different wallets. So in order to do that, you can click on top here, back to my wallets, and then you can simply add a new one. So let's do that now. So you could also connect it to your hardware wallet or restore wallet, but we're going to create one now. Okay, so we'll click quickly go through that. Okay, now I can create a personal wallet. Okay, now the next page is the recovery phrase. So that's the exact same. These are the exact same steps that you would do when you first set up your, your wallet. All right, so I've now created my second wallet. So now you need to send over some Cardano or all of your Cardano that you want to stake. So first of all, you need to think about how many Cardano you want to stake in which staking pool. So let's say you want to stake to, I don't know, four staking pools. Do you want to have 25% in each or do you want to have 50% in one and then uh, divide the rest uh, over the other pools or if you have two wallets you want to have 50 50 each that's what i do now but just think about that first so i want to have 50 50 each so i'll send 50 cardano to this wallet and 50 to the other okay so in order to do that i need to click on receive and then copy that address i'll send it over from my kukan account so i've got my 100 cardano here and then i can click on withdraw enter that address network is ada and then I want to transfer 50 Cardano. Okay, so I've sent 50 Cardano to this wallet. While this is still transferring, I can do the same with the other wallet. So I've just sent it to the second wallet. Now I'll go back to the first and I'll do the same here. I click on receive, copy that address and do the same thing. All right, now both transactions have come through and I've now got 50 ADA in my second wallet and about 49 in the other one. Okay, now I'm ready to stake. So this is the exact same process as you would do if you just staked all of your coins into one stake pool. So we'll go onto delegation list. Then you can enter the name or the ticker. So for instance, one that's really interesting is Meld because it has an like an ISO, ISPO, I think it's called. The Sunday swap initially came up with that term, the initial stake offering, and now a bunch of other DEXs have picked that up and Meld is one of them. I'll be creating a video about that in the future, so be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified when that comes out. So we'll just look for Meld. And now here you can choose if you want to have 50% meld and 50% ADA or just only meld and you've got a bunch of different options. So for this one, I want to choose one that has only meld and then in the other wallet, I can just stake to a normal staking pool. So I'll choose that and then I click on delegate. Okay, so that has been delegated. So I can now click on my dashboard, check it again. And now after refreshing the page, you can see total delegated. And further down, you see the stake pool that I delegated to is the melt pool. Okay, now I can go back and do the same for my set, my first wallet. So you can see I have about 49 ADA in here. And I also go to delegation list. And for this one, I don't really care. I'll just choose one that uh, only gets me ADA. So for instance, this one looks like having good ROI and relatively low cost. So I just choose that one. I click on delegate and then the exact same thing. Cool, so both of that has been delegated. Again, I can go to my dashboard, refresh it. And now that has been delegated and you can see here, that's the stake pool that I delegated to. 
Okay, that's it. So that's how you can delegate your Cardano to several different stake pools. I will make a, a couple of videos about a couple of Cardano DEXs in the future that uh, offer either offer just their token or they even offer Cardano and their token. So that could be pretty interesting for, a, for your staking options. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when those videos come out. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.